Okay, so now let's get into weight training. I've been receiving a lot of questions from people who either own these shoes or they want to get a pair and they're wondering, how do I exercise with these on? Are they unsafe to wear when exercising because they do slide? So a general rule of thumb is if it's a stationary exercise, so maybe something like squatting down or maybe it's something like heel raises or any exercise where your feet are not moving, then I think these shoes are fine to wear when you're exercising. Because in those types of exercises, when your feet aren't moving, it's high friction. So your feet are gonna be more glued to the ground and you won't be able to slide anywhere. However, if you're doing exercises where you're moving, so maybe your legs coming out to the side and then back in, or maybe you're doing lunges where it slides back and then you come back in, or maybe jumping jacks, anytime you have movement, these probably aren't going to be the best shoes for you to wear for those exercises. Because when your legs are moving, you're going to be in a low friction mode, which means your foot will slide more. Now for walking, that's exactly what we want. But for exercising, you might put yourself in a pickle and you might notice sliding when you didn't actually want to slide, and then it might cause some aches or pains. Some of the exercises that I suggest my Missing Link members do to help improve their walking are exercises like standing marching, so you're standing and one leg comes up and then down. This should be a safe exercise to do with these cadence shoes on because even though you have one leg moving, your stance leg is not going anywhere. Whereas jumping jacks, both legs are coming out and in or even one side. And so you're holding on to a mobility aid to keep you steady. One leg comes up and down. Another really great exercise to improve your walking is butt kicks. So kicking one leg back. And I'm really exaggerating this movement right now. You don't need to bend this much in order to get some strengthening in your hamstrings from this movement. Even if it's a little bit, that's fine. But this should be a safe exercise to do with the cadence shoes. If you're ever feeling unsafe or unstable, just make sure you either use a mobility aid that increases your stability or wear a different pair of shoes. Safety is the most important thing. And don't forget to practice walking with or without a mobility aid as an exercise while you're wearing these shoes. So you're holding onto your mobility aid and you're allowing yourself to slide with your shoes. It's a little hard to see because the mobility aid is in the way, but this should be an exercise that you practice if you are hoping to wear these out and about while feeling stable. So again, the general rule of thumb when it comes to weight training or exercising in any way, shape or form with the cadence shoes is that if you're not moving, if you're not moving side to side or front and back, then your exercise is likely stationary where you have most of your weight through one or both legs. The cadence shoes should be appropriate for that. You shouldn't feel any more unstable than you would if you were wearing regular sneakers. But if you are moving, if you're moving one leg side, forward, front, back, whatever, they probably aren't going to be the safest, most stable option for you. Therefore, choose a different sneaker. Or if you like exercising without shoes on, that's okay. Too.